Hi friends, today we are going to talk about how to hide the belly area. This is most clients number one problem area. So today we're going to talk about it, but first I want to talk about this middle part right here. <laughs> so, I mean, I feel like I look like an alien. I've always had a side part my entire life. Like even when I was a little kid, my mom would part my hair on the side, mostly because I have a big calic on this side. So it's, it always looks different than the other side. And I don't know, maybe I have ADD, a, ADHD <laughs> because I like for things to be symmetrical, so I just feel weird. So let me know down in the comments what you think. Should I go back to my side part or stick with the middle part? <laughs> okay, that's enough of that. <laughs> Let's talk about how to hide the belly. Let's go. You do things to me that I just can't describe. The way you say my name just makes me tremble. Okay, so let's be serious for a minute. 90% of my clients that come in, or even when I'm just chatting like in my Facebook group or just with women about what is their number one problem area. And I also ask them about the things that they love about their body too. However, I would say at least 90% of women hate their belly. This is just a common, common, common thing. So with that said, there are some tricks that you can do to help hide the belly area and even flatten it out for some photos. And today I'm going to show you some behind the scenes and then I'll also show you some sample photos. And these tricks work for any size body type. So, and a lot of times it's like women that feel this way have had a baby or or they've lost a lot of weight and the belly area is just hard to lose weight in that area. Trust me, I know. This is like super hard, <laughs> like uh, no matter how much I try. But anyway, this is just a good way to hide those areas to help them feel beautiful in photos, especially if you know that's a problem area for them. And I do recommend asking clients, you know, what are some things that they don't love about their body just because you don't want to end up showcasing it and then them being like, oh, like, I don't like that. So then you have all these photos that they don't love. Ask them what they like and what they don't like. And then you emphasize what they like and then you try to hide what they don't like. It's that easy. <laughs> so let me show you some behind the scenes video and then I'll explain what I'm doing in each one. Here's some behind the scenes footage. I already have her posed. And the key here is that I have her knee bent on the same side that I'm shooting from. So this works really well to hide her belly area. And when I switch to go to the other side, I have the pillow, her holding the pillow, so the pillow is also in front of her belly. So I could use that. However, instead, I decided to have her just switch her knee. So she brings her other knee up and then that's gonna hide her belly from me as well. And then, if I'm shooting from the very front, I can have both her knees bent up and shoot from that direction and that also hides the belly. So this is a great little trick right here just to have something for the belly to be behind and this works for every body type. This is another great trick. Have them straddle a pillow and lean back into a sexy pose. It hides the belly and you can shoot from different angles, but this is a great little trick right here. find that laying across the bed instead of at the end of the bed or the side of the bed is a great way to flatten the belly. Try this out on your next client and see how it works for you. Here are two examples of using the sheets as a prop to hide the tummy area. The best way to do this is just to put them in a regular pose and then hand them the sheets to just kind of cover up their tummy. This is 
my number one requested pose from clients. It's so beautiful. And every time people see it, whenever I post it on Instagram or even the ones on my website, people always say this is one of the shots that they want the most. It's just gorgeous and it works with every body type. So I'm gonna show you the results here in just a second and I'm showing you two different poses right here. For this one, I used her knees again. I had her place her feet on the table and bend her knees towards her and then shot in the same direction that her knees are bent to hide her tummy area. And I will share the photo example with you in just a moment. As always, I would love to hear what you think down in the comments or anything that you want to see from me in the future. I am making a little list and I'm working on projects as we go so I can just add more content to this channel. And if you are a subscriber and you've already been around, thank you so much. I really appreciate you. And if you're not a subscriber, I would love if you hit the subscribe button down below and maybe hit the like button for me, friends, because that helps little miss algorithm spread my videos out to more people which is really great because then it helps our little community right here grow so the more people that join in and the more conversations that we have down below too so i would love like if we all could be involved with each other and have conversations down below like i see it on other youtubers channels where people talk a lot to each other but i don't know it hasn't happened on my channel yet but I would love that just because I feel like then it makes it more of a community where we're helping each other. So if you see somebody ask a question down below and you have some advice for them, definitely give it. Like I'm not going to be mad about it and I'll give my opinion as well because we're all so different and we shoot differently. So it's good to have multiple opinions and seeing what different people do. So definitely comment down below and if you're not already subscribed i'd love if you'd subscribe and i look forward to seeing you in the future and just so you know i do post a new video every monday so it's like i've given myself this challenge to make sure that i do it so i'm always trying to come up with new topics too so that's great to hear from you and i do have a list so so don't worry about that i have a lot of stuff coming up and i'm babbling now so anyway <laughs> Bye guys. Oh, hi baby, come here. Oh. So different for me. Oh shoot. <laughs> ah, gotta start over.